Okay, well, to buy my time, I was just fooling around, just going around the base and everything. I even went out there a little bit. But I happened to come over here with F3 up, and I realized, look at that. If you look at the B over here, you can see planes, hell, hell, planes. This bed is in a hell biome. Do you know what that means? It means that if I tried to sleep in it, it would explode. So I'm not going to sleep in it. Not there, at least. I'm going to break it first. And I'm going to move it over here. However, it's still not nighttime. So, but it's getting closer. It's getting pretty close to being nighttime, so... Let me just gather some of this coal. Maybe I'll make some more torches. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? I used the ball of coal, didn't it? Smite 2. This has Smite 3 on it, so it's better. But once this dies, I'm going to want something else. Okay, useful. Give us enchanted books, and we don't have a way to use them. Um, I guess I can always use more bread. I still find it a bit stupid that I can't find my brown mushrooms. I know I had them. No, there's also a bed in there. I guess they gave you. A, I guess I'm gonna give you a bed in case you blew that one up. Is it nighttime yet? Nope. <coughs> Dang. Well, it's going to be waiting a little bit longer. Meanwhile, what's over here? Okay, this looks like the intersection. Is there any brown mushrooms down there? Does not look it. What do we have waiting us? Tower of Light. Desolate Blast Foundry. And Dusky Grove. None of them seem too appealing. Not not at least at this moment, and I should be able to sleep now. What? Seriously? It's gotta almost be night time. Yeah, I just wanna sleep because I wanna actually set my point here. I do not want to go back through all of that. And you know what? Actually that second bed's gonna come in useful. I can keep my spawn point here, but I can also carry this around to set my spawn point somewhere else. I wish you could have multiple spawn points in the game. Um, like, for example, if I slept in this bed, and then I placed this bed somewhere else, I would spawn at that bed once I sleep in it, but if I broke that bed, I wish I would spawn back at the previous one. That would make things almost too easy, I guess. Man, this room seems a bit too peaceful. And that's kind of cool right there. Oh, there's two item. Oh, yes. <coughs> um, there's a little glitch with item frames. Not really a glitch. It's kind of cool. Um, with item frames, oh, let's block this off temporary. What you can do is... There was fences, right, somewhere? Did I... No, I didn't use all of the fences. Um... What you can do is, you can do this in um, vanilla, you don't even have to use MC Edit or World Edit or anything. You place an item frame on a fence post, and you can put an item in there, and then you place another item frame on the wood post, ignore the other thing, where's the stick? And then you get inside of the item frame. And you place that there. And that's how you can do that in vanilla. I'm not sure. Can I actually do that the other way around and get a little bit better result? Stick first and then put the potato in. 
See, if you just do it normally, it just rotates, but if you go inside of any place... Oops, it rotated again, still. One more. Okay, but if you go inside of the item frame, and you place, you just place the potato there. Yeah, that looks even better. Now the potato's on the <coughs> Now the potato is on the outside. So it actually looks like the stick's going through it. And I can rotate the stick around. Yeah, so, and then if you want to have that on a solid block, you just break this block in really quickly, place the solid block down, and it stays. Just a little neat trick if you want to, like, spice up your builds a little bit with that. I've just realized that not that many people know about that. In fact, I didn't know about it until one of my friends showed me it. It's really a quite interesting... I'll, I'll bring those with me. Why not? It's a quite interesting thing you can do in the game. So. Why not? <clears throat> Did I already sleep? I don't remember sleeping. Be right back. I'm gonna go watch the footage again because I do not remember if I slept or not. Okay, I did indeed sleep, and you already probably knew that. But for some reason, with all the talking, I actually lost track of exactly what I had done, so I could not remember. But I found it a bit strange that I went from nighttime to daytime, so I figured I did. Um, which one should I go to first? Um, I'm thinking, let me store a good amount of this stuff in this chest, because I think I'm going to go to the Desolate Blast Foundry, and that one sounds extremely dangerous, so, I don't need much of this stuff, I'll, let me actually, let me just throw most of this stuff in here, and then I'll just pick out exactly what I need. Um, I need some building blocks, so I'll keep that sandstone. Gonna want some arrows. Probably not all of them. Um, don't need that. Gonna want some food. Melons aren't that useful, so... Put, in the, put the clock there, I don't want to lose that. And... Looks okay. So, Desolate Blast Foundry is this way, okay. And it looks like this is going to be the orange wool. So, Dusky Grove is actually the white wool? Okay, that sounds like the second, that's not like the second hardest one here. So, um, <coughs> Blast Foundry shut down notice as ordered by Azarian officials. Um, number 2.3B1. Two, nine, four, whatever, whatever that's all. Lack of regard for safety in a hostile workspace, workplace. Oh, sounds great, sounds lovely. Okay, let's get on. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can actually see the signs on the other side of the glass. Um, so far there's not much. Uh, that does not look safe at all, but. Skeleton. Mm, I don't dare actually try to jump that, so I'm gonna come over here and we are running. Oh God. <clears throat> we are running dangerously low on our safety equipment. Oh. Oh, fire resistance potion. That's going to be extremely useful. It's only for 2 minutes and 15 seconds, though. Um, better than nothing, though. Wow. And... Oh, hazard boots. Oh. A 
Well, that looks dangerous as heck. This is definitely not a very effective weapon, is it? Um, do I want to go down the stairs or do I want to go over there first? I see an Enderman on the side. Um, I am probably gonna say that that's gonna be a little bit later on. I'm gonna go down here first. Don't even know where this goes, but I guess we're gonna find out, aren't we? Oh heck! Hi, hi. Let me kill you. But there's some coal here, that's a good idea. And this is actual st Oh my god! What the frig? Seriously? Where did that come from? There's like no space behind me for that thing to even spawn. At least I set my spawn there. Give me some of that cobblestone. And let me get back down here. Please give me my torches fast. Oh wow, I missed this over here. Completely. I don't trust this place anymore. Hazard boots. very specific with how I like my tools just how I got used to having them so uh, don't need anything so where am I missing oh god that's just suicide going in there what's in this stone pick some cobblestone not bad Oh, that's what it was. It was a pick I needed on my bar. Um, I don't even know. Do I dare? But this is actual. This is all actual stone, so I can mine this. I'm actually surprised that I'm getting stone this early in the map. That is an extremely generous thing to do because stone is. Something that's a bit, typically a little bit harder to get in this part, this really in the map first intersects, and I would only imagine to see it in really small pockets. <clears throat> okay, there's a spot on the ceiling. I keep seeing them drop. And there's also something above me. I think I'm actually going to mine into here. Make sure not to let the light level get too low. I know that most people are against the bridging and tunneling aspect. No, heck. Um, however, I'm still going to go down that path. I just want to disable these stupid spawners. Because I don't want this place flooded with them. I mean, they're spawning, and then they're still spawning. And then they're... St oh, God, heck. That was not good. Okay, that was almost a death trap. I guess that's what that's for. Huh. <sighs> Random lava pockets. Well, that's gonna make this place a bit, a bit harder. <sighs> now, I want to do that. I just want to find the spawner. I know there's a spawner somewhere. There has to be. No oh, heck. Oh, okay. That's actually safe because that's not the source. The source is up here. Yeah, that's... Okay. Ha 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 ha. There you go. Die, you stupid things. Ugh. I 
can't find the spawner. Where's the spawner? It has to be somewhere around here. Because I see them spawning. I know it's in the ceiling because I saw them falling from the roof. And this pig's going to be dead soon, so... It's not in there. Um, and I don't know where it is then. Let me just get a better idea of where it looks like it is from up here. So there's the lava flowing. Maybe I even disabled it! Oh heck. They're coming for me. Die! Oh, they have pickaxes. They can't shoot me. Huh! Oh, that's awesome! That's actually kind of cool. Okay, that makes me feel a lot less afraid of them. These are like miners, I see. That's kind of <coughs> kind of interesting theme. Die. Oh, this love is going to be... Oh, I got the pickaxe. Ah, I wish they were enchanted. That'd be nice. But it is really nice that they can't hit me. With the... Well, they, they, I mean, they can still hit me, but they do, like, so little damage that it's insane. Oh, nice, I got a helmet out of it. And the helmet does look to be... Oh! Hi! Yeah, there's definitely a spawner somewhere over there. This is a place I can harvest some nice loot. What's the helmet look like? Okay. The helmets are... Oh, nice. And I'm going... To, oh, I can't do that because it'll... This is just protection 2. This is protection 2 in respiration. So I can breathe longer underwater. If I ever get an anvil, I can actually combine these together. Get a pretty good hat. Um, but nice to have... I have a bunch of golden picks now. I'm just going to take this in my inventory because golden picks are very useful for removing spawners because while they have low durability... Um, oh, hi. Do you want to fall in the lava? Apparently it does. And ouch. How long am I going to be on fire? Not that long. Oh, heck! <laughs> um... Okay, that's what I was wondering. <laughs> Some of the things you can do with MCA is you can actually make. No, not all the XP, not, ex not the XP! No, not the XP! Ah, oh, dang you. Okay, so this is just a big pocket of coal. And that was pretty cool. I mean, there's still a spawner somewhere up there. Um, <clears throat> but of all these pickaxes, I said I actually have not have broken that spawner. I can come down here and harvest these. Gold pickaxes are very nice. Um, they have lower durability than diamond. However, they are faster than a diamond pickaxe on the things that they can actually mine. Um, but they are equivalent in their level. They, they can only mine up to the same tier as wooden pickaxes. They cannot mine anything that stone and iron can. Only things that wood can, which means stone, coal, the basic ores, iron. They actually can't, no, they can't mine iron because you need stone to mine iron, I think. So, but they can mine coal and they can mine spawners, so. In spawner to oh my god no are you kidding me again again well my death counter is going up a bit faster than I would have liked it to let's go oh, no 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 you don't no you don't oh no you don't either uh, <laughs> 
Die. Die. There you go. He died. Very nice. Okay, let's get my stuff back. At least whatever didn't fall into the stupid lava. Which looks like a good amount of it. Ooh. I almost fell into the lava. Okay, now where the freak did that creeper come from? The entire place is lit up pretty well, so... There's no spawners that I saw on the wall. For creepers, at least. Oh, another tunic over here. Okay. Put my fire protection... My... Miner's cap... Back on. Oh no, it looks like I lost my fire hazard boots. So there's some stuff over here, too. That's... Oh, and a diamond pickaxe, and... <laughs> Okay, I probably shouldn't have done that, but I got it off successfully, so I guess not a huge deal. Um, that'd be the last time I turned my back to a big open area. Um, so, that goes there. I'll put that there. I lost the last raider. Dang it. <sighs> Not great. At least I didn't lose my bow. That's a good thing. Uh, okay, I really don't need these wooden pickaxes. I don't even know why I picked them up. But there should be another spawner somewhere in the ceiling there, because I saw more skeletons spawn and fall down here. Maybe I'll make a grinder out of this eventually, just auto collect a lot it would be oh god there we go kill it I didn't want you creep I didn't want you creeping up on me like the other ones did oh and heck there's the other ones Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, there's obviously a spawner over there, because creepers are piling up there. Thank you. Oh, I can probably get on top of this thing from over here, so let's do that. Don't even know if there's any really use of being up here. I guess not, but I did it, so... Oh, at least it was on the thing. This is the last cold pickaxe I have, so I'm gonna have to reserve that. <clears throat> Get some more building blocks on my bar. I guess technically I have enough cobblestone I could just use it for building block now. I mean, it's all over the place, so. <sighs> okay. I don't know, that's really cool, actually, how they did that. You were disabled, right? Good. But I don't have to mine in a hurt. Oh! There's stuff on the ceiling, too! Oh, heck! Heck, 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 heck. Don't let those spawn. Now that was just devious. I would never have expected that to be there. I guess as a general rule of always look up, but... Okay. 
Now this place is a lot safer than it was a second ago. Uh, more arrows, that's always a good thing. Chain boots is... I, no, I don't think that... I don't not think that is better than what I have right now. Um, stone sword, I can always use that when this one dies. Cooked fish. Don't need rotten flesh. I'll take that, I'll take that. I don't really need these iron bars. I don't see any use for gunpowder at the moment. Don't need a broken bow, I have a brand new one. And what's over here? Ooh. Azarian Trading Gem. Unbreaking 3. <laughs> unbreaking 10, I mean. Why do you even need unbreaking on an Azarian Trading Gem? Because, um... Oh, I... I get it. Um, no, I don't. I don't get why there's unbreaking on there. Remember that book when it said that you're only allowed to use emeralds obtained from legit villager trading to trade with only the player ones. Um, I'm guessing there's actually specific villagers in the um in the map that um. I wish there was TNT arrows, like I could just launch an arrow, have it hit the spot, and blow it up. Um, what's in the dispensers? Nothing. Oh, coal. Oh, that's a furnace. Wooden axe. Ooh, nice. Yeah, always look up. Ah, uh, an anvil. Yes, an anvil. Oh, it's an almost broken one. It's probably going to die on the first... How many levels does it take? 20. I'm not quite there yet. And that'd be protection 3, respiration 2. That'd be a pretty good, um... That would be a pretty good enchant. And actually... Let's see. I don't... This is not gonna get me there, I don't think. No. But it did get me two levels closer. But, um... Furnace. Furnace. I, I have to get myself back into the habit of actually checking everything. Because you, you never know. That's, that's a cooked fish. Why would I gonna cook that? Um. So this looks like a fairly safe area once you break the spawners. Like, nothing's going up there and getting to me. And it actually looks like there's some pretty cool stuff there. An enchanting table. I'm gonna definitely have to go over there. Most likely there's actually an enchanting table over there, not just the books. Over there, I need to disable that spawner, obviously. Um, this should be done. Okay. Did I put wood over here? No, but I'll take this wood back, because I'm going to probably need some sticks in a few. Actually, there's plethora of arrows here. That's right, I forgot to actually go back into here again. Nice golden sword. It doesn't have the fishing rod. Not use for that. I'll get this on the way out. I don't want to risk losing that. Liquid courage. Blindness. Speed and regeneration. That's actually pretty lame, but... I'm gonna take this birch wood. I don't care for birch wood personally, so I'm gonna turn that all into sticks. Okay. Let's light this area up quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay. And this area looks secured as well. Anything above? No, this time it does not look like there's anything above. However, I am still going to light up the ceiling a little bit. I don't think people can really blame me for that. Nothing in the furnaces. More arrows. Dang, so many arrows. And protection three on breaking. That's actually better than those chain leggings. Um, 
Oops. I see there's a ladder, so they can't climb up. Because mobs can't climb up ladders by default, so... Don't need the coal with me, I mean... Leave myself two sticks, just in case I need to make another sword or something. Ah. Uh, leave myself one of the miner's caps. I don't need both of them. I don't need that. I do not need that. The cooked fish I could use. There. <coughs> Starting to get my inventory organized a little bit. Because if I keep my inventory organized, I can fit more items in there, and there's going to be a lot of loot in these areas, so... Uh, great, now that I've been here, these have got a chance to spawn. Think I can get a break for a second here? <laughs> oh yeah, fall right off into the lava. Go ahead and do that. No! 